Hey, Sugar P, do you want this leftover cheese and crackers? I don't want it anymore. I mean, we've been having this since, what, Christmas? Um, whoa, what's going on? Why is there... Why is there wigs and... Oh, babe, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, 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 chill, chill, what's wrong? Hey, oh, no, don't do that. Put those scissors down. Come on, what's wrong with you? Why are you trying to cut up your wigs? What is wrong? D -d -d please, please don't do that. Put those scissors down. Drop the weapon. Drop the weapon. Okay, listen. <sighs> listen, I don't like the way you're acting like this. It's really scaring me. What, what do you mean you're fine? You're not fine. I just walked in the room and I saw you throwing your wigs in a contractor bag even the outfits, and you were about ready to cut one of your wigs. What are you doing? Cosplaying. You quit doing it. Okay, you can stop cosplaying, but it doesn't mean you have to ruin your very expensive wigs. I mean, do you know how much those wigs cost? Those are high quality wigs. Yeah. It was like, you know, like $30, $50. I mean, hell, this one over there is like, what? 70 What's wrong? I mean, I don't... I'm not trying to stop you from refusing or not wanting to cosplay, but what gives you the right to stop cosplaying? What caused you? Because... You... What? No, 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 no. Listen, listen here. You are wonderful, okay? That's what's stopping you from cosplaying? Are there people telling you about this? Listen, it doesn't matter what gender you, gender you are, what skin color you have, or what body shape you have. Everyone can cosplay, you know? I mean, look at me. I look weird as fuck, but I cosplay. You don't have to be perfect. I mean, you can be a bit of a perfectionist if you want to, but it doesn't give you the right to act all sorts of crazy. Seriously, are there people telling you that you can't cosplay because of what you are? Then those people are stupid. Okay? You do you, boo. Do what you love. You know, I mean, if you... Now I really don't want you to stop cosplaying, because if that's what you really love to do, then do it. I mean, it makes me happy to see you happy doing what you love. And I know it makes you happy to see me what I love to do. <sighs> Again... It doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter what color of skin you have. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if you have a disability or what. Everyone can cosplay. Everyone in the whole wide world can cosplay. No, I'm dead ass serious. Even if you have some kind of tumor, you can still cosplay. Yes, you will. Listen, if I have a tumor, I would still cosplay. If I have a missing eyeball, I would still cosplay. Even if I have a missing leg or half my limbs missing, I will still cosplay. Because that's not stopping me from cosplay. I love to see you happy. And I think it's really cute that you're in that phase. That you think cosplay is amazing. And so was I, you know. I still love doing it. I like to be all creative, love to act, you know, do some acting of the characters from anime. I mean, come on. Listen. I hate to sound a bit anal about it, but... Can you at least put these... Wigs in separate bags? What? No, I'm not saying that your emotions are not as important as those wigs. Oh, uh, okay, listen. You're joking. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Don't do that again. That really scares me. Thinking that... <laughs> that you think that... Your emotions are less more important than the wigs. It's just... 
you know me, I can be a bit of a perfectionist. And seeing those high quality wigs all tangled together like a Brady Bunch. Yeah, uh, he leaves them in separate bags, but please do not throw them away. Again, they are high quality wigs, and trust me, you're going to instantly regret it if you do throw them in the trash. Because you think you're not accepting yourself of who you are to cosplay. Listen, hey, I still love you, you know. But you need to chill, girl. <laughs> I'm serious, you need to chill. Put those scissors down for fuck's sakes. Don't listen to those people. They're just a bunch of jerks. They're just oh so special, which they are not. They are horrible people that are trying to make others feel bad. They're trying to put your head down in shame. I want you to raise your head up high. Raise up high, feel the pride. You know what I mean? I mean, if you want to quit cosplaying because you might think, oh, it's a bit silly, that's fine, but at least don't ruin them. You want to do it, but you're not sure. Well, I like you when you cosplay. I mean, I'm not saying that the reason- I'm, No, I'm serious. It's not because- No, it's- It's just I finally found someone who just loves doing what I love to do, too. Thinking I'm not the only one who cosplay. Thinking I'm the only person- I always thought that I'm the only person who cosplay in this environment. I mean, I rarely see any cosplayers out in public. No, that's not the reason why I want to date you. The only reason why I want to date you is I like you, okay? I'm not going to break up with you if you quit cosplaying. That's, 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 <laughs> that's silly, you know? That's beyond silly. But, no, you're not fat. No, you're not. Uh, can you, stop it. Hey, stop it. You are not fat, for fuck's sakes. And even if you are, I will still fucking accept you. Again, I'm not picky with body shape. And I'm not picky of any person with different color skin. You do realize. Everyone is equal. You know what I mean? <sighs> and it doesn't matter if you have some kind of mental illness, disability... Or some kind of traumatic injury such as scoliosis, a tumor, whatever. Because that you can't stop yourself from doing something you love because of that. And again, if other people are telling you, Oh, you can't do that because you're blah 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 and you're blah blah blah. Then why do you listen to those people? What are they going to do? If you, what are they going to do? Are they going to shoot you? Are they going to stab you? Are they going to come up to your house and beat the crap out of you? No. So, if they're going to threaten you to not cosplay because of who you are, then they're just a bunch of crazy lunatics that have nothing better to do in their sad little lives. Seriously, what are they going to do? Ignore them. What, what are they gonna literally come up to your house and literally beat the shit out of you? Oh please, if someone does come up to you, this house and try to beat the shit out of you, I'll beat the shit out of them before they get to you. Trust me. They have to get to me in order to get to you. And I know they're not going to win that fight. Yes, listen. I may be short, a little short, but I can do quite a punch. And I could do quite a kick and quite a slap. I'm dead as serious. Okay, now you're just getting ahead of yourself. We can talk about guns and not. Oh, God, 
I'm talking about the haters, not burglars. Unless the haters are burglars. <sighs> what does that have something to do with this? <laughs> Listen. I love you, you know that? It actually breaks my heart that you are literally shutting yourself down because of a silly, simple thing that you can possibly ignore. I know it hurts. I know it's hard to ignore it. Trust me on this. I know it's hard to ignore it, but they're not going to hurt you, you know? And again, if they ever do get a chance to hurt you, actually, they won't get a chance to hurt you because I'll beat the shit out of them before they get to you. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, look at your little smile. Am I making you smile now? Yeah. Aren't you adorable? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice, sweet smile. There's the smile I love. <laughs> I love that cute little smile on your face. It's really bloody cute. Even though you can be a little mischievous and naughty, but that's alright. Because I know you have a playful side within you. Hmm. And I know you have the fun side within you, since you love to do something I love to do. No, that's not it. What, you think sex is my hobby? Ugh, no! Being romantic is my hobby. Showing you lots of love and affection is my hobby. Listen. I stopped playing basketball when I was, you know, a senior in high school. Those are my old hobbies. My new hobbies is giving you all the love and affection I possibly can. Because you know how much I love you. And for Christ's sakes on a bike, accept yourself who you are. Don't call yourself ugly and fat or what. Because it hurts me when you talking crap about yourself. Because those things are not true. Don't let that stop you from doing something you love to do. Okay, so... <sighs> Be a good babe and take those wigs out from that contractor bag. And we can put them in separate bags. You know me. Again, I'm that anal about it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This really means so much to me. I love you, sugar pea. <laughs>